Okay. Uh, let's get into it. Warm up is pretty simple stuff here. <clears throat> We've got uh, single leg glue bridges, walking lunges, pull aparts, right? Your unilateral, yes, you're split 15 and 15. Just like always. And on those glute bridges, make sure you um, squeeze your glutes, right? It's, it's always the big thing. Uh, what's the single leg glute bridge? It's a glute bridge on one leg. I personally like to put the free leg up on an object like a bench or a chair or a couch or something, the dog, you know, whatever I have available. Just because I don't have to think about it, I can just think about that one glute and the hammy and everything working on that one side, on the other side. Uh, three rounds of warm up and then we get into part A. Part A is kind of a continuation of warm up, so no pressure, right? Uh, Having some fun with the band. If you don't have a band, that's okay. You can do it without a band. Um, good mornings. Way, way, way back in the beginning, we were doing a bunch of band good mornings. And uh, I, I said you can do this body weight, uh, but you really have to focus on squeezing. Or you grab an object to kind of hold in front of your body to give, it, give yourself a little um, uh, resistance. That's the word. Resistance. Resistance training. Add some resistance. So let's just take a look at these movements real quick. Um, the band jump squat and the band good morning are set the same way. And uh, I've actually never done band and jump squats before. It just kind of seemed like a good idea. But you just take your band, you squat, and you jump. Oh, that's going to be nice. Right? You got that increasing band tension. <laughs> Don't let it snap up, right, guys? Woo! You have the increasing band tension, right? Excellent. We got good mornings. All right? Thanks, Maple. Appreciate it, right? Really focusing on that squeeze. It's all on the hips. We've got our banded push ups. I think I won't carry with the band. All right. Let's sign on the banded push ups. Okay. <laughs> With the banded push-ups, I pick on you guys this for regular push-ups. When we come up, we start to do this arch thing to kind of fight for it as we get tired. The same thing happened here. Let me demonstrate that a little better. I know, right? Mabel doesn't like this either. This tends to happen a lot more with the band because you're trying to do everything to push through that extra tension and if you just kind of arch through, you use less strength. That's why we really call it. The trick here is tight. Come here. Shh, shh, shh. We're just videoing. It's okay. We're just videoing. Uh, we got some body rows in there to finish, right? Good for the upper back. Make sure you get that good squeeze. Oh, we'll do banded body rows. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how that would work. Uh, three rounds, like I said, it's kind of a continuation of warm up for uh, the last part. We'll call it the main event of the day, right? <laughs> it's hard. To wrestle and talk at the same time, guys. Uh, what you'll notice about the last part, you do have a buy-in and a cash out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pay me for the buy-in and then I cash out at the end, right? No, a buy-in means it's the first thing you do and then you never do it again. A cash out means it's the last thing you do and you never do it before that. So. If you're doing 400 meter runs at the beginning and end of every round, wrong. You do it at the very start, you do all three rounds, you do it at the very end, right? Buy in at the start, cash out at the end. I know. Maple's out of money, that's why she's upset. Can't buy in or cash out. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, cool. We got our snatches, 
Uh, if you've got a dumbbell, kettlebell, split three and three. We do know the, know the uh, kettlebell modifications. There we go. Uh, you can just switch to the swings. That's fine. And the barbell modification. If you have a barbell, you can do a squat snatch. Cool. We've got nine thrusters. You can do it with that, the, the dumbbell. If you have a pair of dumbbells, a kettlebell, a pair of kettlebells, a dumbbell, or a barbell, two cats. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever you got. Legs bear crawl. Forward, down. Forward, down, reverse, back. There we go. That's two lengths. Six times that's 12. Right? You, you guys know math. Um, I'm recommending 12 to 15 feet. Some people are texting me saying they're going 37. You know, it, it, it's up to you. How easy do you want to make it? How hard do you want to make it? If you want to make it a little harder, push the distance a little bit. you want to make it a little easier, well, don't do less than 12 feet. That's my minimum. And then we got burpees and V-ups. Burpees and V-ups to finish. Uh, three rounds, like I said at the start. Um, thought on your 400 meter run, like I've been saying, do your best to kind of estimate. Hey, this is about 400 meters. If it's a little longer, uh, if it's a little longer, people might be a little upset. She's so gonna be very upset if it's a little shorter. Hopefully, we got all that info in there. We weren't too distracted by Maple's playfulness. Right? She thinks it's wrestling time now that I'm on the floor. Enjoy.